Welcome to SeeBetter.com. I'm Dr. Shelby. I'm going to walk you through a cataract procedure from start to finish. The day your cataract surgery is going to start pretty early in the morning, but don't plan on having any coffee beforehand. You'll arrive at the outpatient surgery center. Once the paperwork is done, an IV will be started and your eye will be dilated. You will then be rolled into the operating room where all the magic happens. Once you're in the operating room, we give you some IV sedation just to relax you. The surgery starts with one little bitty incision on the clear part of the eye where the colored part meets the white part. Lidocaine, which is a little numbing medication, is then injected into the eye. This ensures that there's adequate anesthesia during the entire procedure. A thick gel called viscoelastic is then injected through that little bitty incision. This viscoelastic provides protection to the inside structures of the eye while the cataract is being removed. A second, slightly larger incision is made in the eye. This is the primary wound. This is the wound where the cataract is taken out of and the new lens is put in. Forceps are then used to create a capsule erexus. A capsule erexus is an opening in the bag that holds the lens that you were born with, which is your cataract. A special fluid is then used to gently dissect your lens away from that capsule or bag. This is called hydrodissection, which makes your cataract much easier to remove. The ultrasound is then inserted to that primary wound and a little bitty groove is then phaco emulsified into the center of your cataract. A second instrument is then passed through that little bitty wound on the other side and the cataract is then broken into two pieces. Those two pieces are then removed with the ultrasound and vacuum. Once the main parts of the cataract have been removed, the remaining thin lens fibers are removed using an irrigating and aspirating cannula. Once these fibers have been removed, the lens capsule is polished until it's perfectly clear. At this point, the entire cataract has been removed. More of that viscoelastic gel is injected into the eye to fill up that bag that used to hold the lens. The new lens, which is made out of an acrylic material, is then injected through that primary wound. After the lens has been injected, it's gently rotated and centered inside that capsule or bag. The arms or haptics on that lens will help keep that lens centered in your capsule or bag for the rest of your life. Once that lens has been centered inside your eye, the INA cannula is then reinserted inside your eye and the remaining viscoelastic gel is removed. Once all that gel has been removed, fluid is then used to swell the edges of those wounds. This prevents us from having to put any stitches in the wound whatsoever. After we know the wounds have sealed, we inject some antibiotic inside the eye to help prevent infection. After the antibiotic has been injected, the wounds are checked for any leakage and the eyes checked for pressure. Once we know the pressure is good and the wounds aren't leaking, the surgery is over. Most patients notice an improvement in their vision immediately after surgery. As you can see from this picture, the cataract, which is kind of brownish yellow, and now the lens is perfectly clear. Right after surgery, we put a patch over your eye. No, not that patch. Yeah, that patch. 
you're taken into the recovery area where the nurses will then go over your post-operative instructions, which include your drop regimen, what you can and can't do as far as physical activities, and any follow-up visits. After that, you're free to go and enjoy your brand new vision.